Start your engines. Localish LA takes you inside the LA Auto Show. I like seeing all the new uh, hybrids and everything. This place has something for everyone. Plus, the master artist who paints on cars, the godfather of low rider bikes, and the best seat in the LA Coliseum. Where you can order your tequilas, your drinks. You can just peek over and watch the game and have a great time. Localish LA starts right now. Hi everyone and welcome to the LA Auto Show at the Convention Center in downtown. And this place has something for everyone. Check out all the new vehicles, take free test drives, see all the latest technology. The LA Auto Show is open every day now through December 1st. It's even open on Thanksgiving Day. And ABC7 car specialist Dave Coons has been covering the auto show all week. And Dave, I know this is like Disneyland for you. Well, it is. And I've been coming here since I was a teenager. And a lot of people do come year after year. And there's always something new to see. Might as well start the auto show off with some sizzle. Vintage Dodge Challengers outside, the 50th anniversary model inside. You know, to, to be 50 years later to have the success that we've had with the modern day and then looking back at you know how, how unique and different that car was when we launched it back in 1970. So uh, with this car, it was tying those, the, you know, the current one with the old one. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Hyundai Vision T. And reveals of new cars of all type. This is a concept for a new Hyundai plug-in hybrid SUV. Efficiency with an interesting shape. Another interesting shape is on the Land Rover Defender, brought back in all its ruggedness for off-road use or on. One of the big changes with the new vehicle is its uh, ability to handle the pavement in a lot more of a refined way than its predecessor. On a little more of a budget, Nissan did the world debut of the next generation Sentra. Do small cars have to be frumpy looking? Nissan says no, they don't. I think when you look at this all new Sentra and you look at the fluid lines throughout the vehicle, it really speaks to a level of style and sophistication that we've never seen before in a compact car. Sometimes the choice comes down to being green or being mean. Mercedes-Benz is moving down both of those lanes. We have the EQC here, which we think will feature very prominently on California roads, our all-electric SUV. Uh, and then we have the guarantee that your kids will never be late for soccer games. Uh, we've got the GLS with 604 horsepower and, uh, and three rows of seating. Yes, truly something for everyone. There is so much to see here. The one tip I always give every year, be sure to wear comfortable shoes. Noted. You can see all of Dave's pieces and plus other stories on abc7.com slash LA Auto Show. Thank you, Dave. In fact, I just spotted something else I want to see, so you got it. I'll see you later. All of the major automakers are here, and they are excited and ready to show off their new models. Chevy is very excited to be here in Los Angeles. This is actually the first auto show of the entire season. And so everything brand new has been brought to LA to show off for the first time. The thing that I love about Chevy is that it's really kind of like an American staple. Front and center here in the Chevrolet stand is this rapid blue new 2020 Corvette convertible. We just won Motor Trends Car of the Year for 2020, so that's like winning the Oscars in the automotive industry. SUV Blazer is coming back, and I love how they've incorporated kind of like old school aspects of the Blazer into the new. We have a very special edition Silverado partnership with Carhartt. The Colorado ZR2 is here. That's our extreme off-road vehicle that we have. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have the new 2020 Chevy Bolt EV. And new for this year is an increased range in the battery. We just unveiled the new Trailblazer. It's a 2021 model year Trailblazer that will sit right between the Equinox uh, in terms of size. I love cars and I love culture. And and it's just something that, you know, this LA Auto Show is something that's been kind of like an icon in LA for years. We're here at the Toyota display in South Hall, and I'm with the all new 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. It is Toyota's first ever plug-in hybrid electric SUV with a driving range in EV mode for nearly 40 miles. After that, it switches into hybrid mode. The RAV4 is America's favorite SUV and the best just got better with the all new Prime. It's the fastest and most powerful RAV4 ever with 302 horsepower 
and zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. And you do not want to miss the Toyota Mirai. It's this beautiful coupe-inspired sedan behind me. It is the next generation of our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. What that means is it has a 400-mile driving range on just one fill-up of hydrogen from a hydrogen refueling station. It only takes about five minutes to refuel, and you have a zero-emission drive the whole way. So at Subaru, we're really excited. This is the first time we're showing this kit here in Los Angeles, we're trying to bring the environment into an auto show. This is a play on all the national parks, and we're the largest corporate donor of the National Park Foundation. It's also something that our, our customers are, are very involved with. So we're here in the Subaru booth, and it is like being in a national forest or a national park. You can hear birds chirping and animals like that in the background and it actually smells like you're out in the woods as well. The Subaru setup, very cool, mimics kind of that national park kind of feel. You've got like a check-in booth going on, we've got some water going on back here. And as you can see we've got a little alcove set aside uh, where you can sit down and relax with the family. We've got this great video going on, we have a geyser that goes off every hour. Subaru Outback, go where love takes you. It's making it a little bit more entertaining for while you're here at the show. The other great thing we're doing is uh, doing pet adoptions. You can actually come play with a dog. We have a, a separate pen area set up where you can actually interact with the animals. It's just a great time. Coming up, much more from the LA Auto Show. Plus, a hot rod or a low rider, you gotta have a little bit of pinstriping on it or you're just not right. The local artist who's making his mark. And later, who are we? Everybody. Where are we from? South LA. What we do? Right. Right. That's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> Follow localish and live like a local. Auto Show has something for everyone, they're not kidding. This is a place called The Garage and it's filled with customized rides and exotics. So while I check all of this out, check out this piece on a local man who has a real passion for pinstriping. Pinstriping brings out the beauty of the car, the inner beauty of the car. A hot rod or a low rider, well, you gotta have a little bit of pinstriping on it or you're just not right. The creativity that comes from the artist's mind through his hand, through the brush, and onto his canvas is just amazing. You don't even know what he's going to do until he starts to do it, you know what I mean? I wonder if he even knows what he's doing until he's there doing it himself. Pinstriping is, is an art form on vehicles that's been around for many years. It was done on horse-drawn buggies, the wheels, they used to pinstripe the wooden wheels. The wooden carriages, that is still done today on cars. It's all freehand and it's done with the concept of customizing and embellishing components on the vehicle, whether it's door handles around the hood ornaments, down the body of a car to accent the body line of the car. The pinstripes accentuate that. It all works together with the custom paint jobs of cars, boats, trucks, and bikes. Danny, Danny A is a good, very good pinstriper. And I'm really honored to have him do my car for me. He said, what do you want to get done? I said, well, do accents, the front, the doors, the rear trunk. It came out really nice, and we had them add the, the name of the car, New Beginnings, to the love box, and uh, it did an outstanding work on it. It makes it pop a lot nicer. I took my buddy's recommendation on Danny, and I couldn't be more proud of the bike now. I get so many compliments. When if somebody does body lines, when somebody does a paint job, we see that that person gets intimate with the car. It's their own touch, it's their own lifestyle on there. And when you have an artist like Danny coming out there and doing it, that even brings it out even more. Back in the 60s and 70s, pinstriping was very, very popular. And um, I actually got into pinstriping by being very interested in certain painters in the Los Angeles area. I had the opportunity to watch Walt Prey work on a car called the Gypsy Rose, which is one of the most famous lowriders that ever existed. Watching him do this car, to 
told me I could do that. So I would go to car washes and offer to pinstripe lowriders for $20 just so that I could put gas in my own lowrider. When I pinstripe a car and I see it in the magazine, I get this sense that I'm really close to that car and the person that owns it. And it's, it's a really good satisfaction that I get out of my work. After some years of being in the pinstriping business, one of my uh, really good customers recommended me to a special effects shop and I was hired to do all the Robocop costumes. I put custom paint jobs on all the costumes and uh, that broke it off and put me in the industry for the film. Um, I worked for Walt Disney on many different projects, but I decided to stay with the pinstriping because I just love it to death. It's all pressure points. You have to twist it in your fingers like this. Pretty cool. A couple years back, I met a guy named Jalopy Joe up in Ventura who had a hot rod shop, and we had this thing about, hey, let's teach some people how to pinstripe so we can further the artwork into the community. And we had about 23 to maybe 30 students each year. It's not just guys striping out here, it's females doing it. It's, it's amazing, it's an upcoming art. It's not a dying art anymore by any means. There's a lot of youngsters that are learning this art and they're taking off with it. Up next, more from the LA Auto Show. It's literally Route 66 and Silicon Valley meeting together. Plus, I just started fixing up bikes when I was 10 years old. And now, he's the godfather of lowrider bikes. Auto Show makes international headlines because this is where the world gets its first look at all of the newest models. We're here at the Honda booth and we're really excited to be once again at the LA Auto Show. We have a brand new layout for customers to come out and check out the various aspects of Honda. Everything from our electrified vehicles, to our historical vehicles and everything in between. Ever since I was a little kid, my um, my dad has always told me, buy Honda. I like seeing all the new uh, hybrids and everything we can see for the good, clean energy and clean mobility. I was driving in my Honda Civic to go down to work and it was the first rain of the season. I hydroplaned. My car ended up flipping five times uh, and I ended up walking away with only a broken fingertip. Even though this isn't my exact uh, car, it's the exact same model um, car that I was in. What's really cool about Honda's auto show display this year is that we have an outfitted CRV, so it really shows a personalization and customization. So people not only want a comfortable ride on the freeway or dropping off their kids to school, but also want to be weekend warriors. Always wanted to come to LA Auto Show, but you know, never been able to come. So. It's been a really good experience and all, seeing all the new cars that are coming out, being able to hang out with the Honda guys today, so it's been a really awesome experience. Hello and welcome to the Mercedes-Benz uh, stand at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The product I'm most excited about here on the stand today is our all-new GLB. The GLB will debut in, uh, in mid-December in the US and uh, that is our first compact SUV with a seven passenger configuration. I've been a Mercedes owner for a very long time. I started in high school with a 1976 240D. I'm a huge fan of Daimler and Mercedes, so very excited to get over here. The car we have here is the world premiere today of the GLS 63 AMG. Car has 603 brake horsepower and uh, has absolute versatility. I came over here specifically for the uh, G-Wagon. I came to see the G-Wagon. It's just a sweet, rugged, luxury, sex appeal car, you know, can't go wrong with that thing. For visitors to our stand, I hope they'll be excited. We have the broadest range, I believe, the broadest range of uh, SUVs now in the industry. We have the all-new GLE and the all-new GLS, as well, of course, as our iconic G-Wagon, which is still in its first full year of, uh, of sales in the US. So I, I'm super excited about SUVs, because after all, the US is the SUV market. So at Ford, my focus has been on electrified products that so we've announced over $11 billion in our electrified products for the future. This particular booth, the Ford booth, attracted me because of its embracing of newer mobility solutions. In particular, the Mach-E. We are featuring our brand new global reveal for the Mustang Mach-E, which is a fully dedicated battery electric vehicle that's tapping into our iconic Ford Mustang. 
is literally Route 66 and Silicon Valley meeting together. So this has to be the perfect fusion of both historic heritage Mustang combined with technology. So we've got iconic horse on the emblem, great steering wheel, a very large screen. And the great thing about this screen is we know customers still love a hard button on the screen. And this vehicle featuring our next generation sync system, it's a car that's smart and keeps learning. In addition to that, we have our brand new Escape, it's available in both a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid, our new Explorer in hybrid as well. And of course, you can't have a Mustang Mach-E without the iconic GT500 Mustang Coupe, both on the floor at the same time. The LA Auto Show features all kinds of cars, electric, exotic, vintage, even low riders. Now, we didn't find any low rider bikes here, but we did find some in Compton. My name is Manny. I am the godfather of the low rider bikes in the beautiful city of Campton. Manny's Bike Shop, it's uh, an iconic part of Campton, you know? At the beginning, when I came to the place, I thought I had the wrong shop. It doesn't look much from the outside, but then once you come in here, it's just amazing to see everything uh, he has going on. He has a unique mind on how to create a lowrider bike, custom, street custom lowrider bike. I started fixing up bikes when I was 10 years old in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. When I came to City of Campton in the early 80s, I started making bicycles for uh, people in need. We, we don't use a, a big machines, we use, we like to do everything by hand because that's the art. I tell people, you dream and I will make your dream come true. We use chrome or we use uh, gold. We go out and we twist and everything. Okay. I tell people that uh, the bike we make is make with love. We make the bike with love. Every piece is special in a low rider bike. What we do? Ride to the right, ride to the right. We had to have certain things about our club that stands out among other clubs. And Mr. Godfather himself designed, created, and, and did it for us. He's a pillar in the community. People come to many bike shops from everywhere. Most of my customers, they came to the shop when, when they was a little kids, and now they bring me the, the, their own kids. Back when I was about nine, 10 years old, I actually bought my first bike for Mandy. Everybody here knows him. Everybody knows the quality of the craftsmanship he does. We always say that Whenever Manny called, the real riders showed up and show up. Who are we? Real riders! Where are we from? South LA! What we do? Ride to the right! That's what they do. That's <laughs> what they do. <laughs> if the customer is happy, we're happy too. Everybody's happy. Just ahead, more from the LA Auto Show. Plus, the best seat in the LA Coliseum. You can come hang out in the lounge area, have a good time with your family, then you can also enjoy the game below. Follow Localish and live like a local. come to the auto show be sure to get off the beaten path a little don't just go to the main exhibit halls there are all kinds of cool things spread out around the convention center property thank you dave the la auto show isn't just cars they have an entire section dedicated to gaming and vr and check this out they have cool stuff for the kids this is a life-size bugatti made of legos and this behind me is the van from the upcoming Disney Pixar movie, Onward. By the way, if you are coming tomorrow, traffic alert, because the Monday night football game is happening down the street at the Coliseum. If you are going to the game, make sure you check out the Sky Deck. The Sky Deck here at Casa Mexico is uh, by far the biggest uh, area where you can order your tequilas, your drinks, you can talk to uh, your friends, be amongst the fans. But at the same time, if you, want, if you want to watch the game, you can just peek over and watch the game and have a great time. The Casa Mexico Sky Deck is a perfect combination of tequila, great food, and great views. 
beautiful, man, to be born and raised here in South Los Angeles my whole life. And to know that they remodeled this place in this sky deck, it's amazing, man. It's 360 views around here. You can come hang out in the lounge area, have a good time with your family. Then you can also enjoy the game below. The vibe is like, you could just chill. You could just take your drinks with everybody. You could watch the game on the TV. You have the bars right here, and you don't have to go through all the clutter. So you do definitely feel like you're like a bigger priority than the regular team. You get an amazing view up here, and you have a lot more amenities. You're in the shade also. You have great food. New menu's exciting. Uh, we were able to really do some really great food from scratch uh, to impress our fans and, you know, flex our creative skills. We're doing all of our own, you know, smoking in-house of different meats, whether it be chicken, Carolina pork, uh, brisket, or the brontosaurus bone-in short rib. We're doing not so much a street taco, but a traditional taco you might find with flavors from Latin America. We're doing flatbread pizzas, the mega meatball, and some different type sandwiches. We've really tweaked our recipes to make sure that we're bringing the best variety. So I grew up a Rams fan, uh, and an Angelino. Yeah. Here we are, the Casa Mexico is a part of the Rams, which is one of the biggest iconic brands in the world, especially in the NFL. We got everything all exclusive right here. Everything here is top shelf. The food is outstanding. The view, look at the view, look at this view right here. I'm loving all of it right here. I need to check that out. And remember, you can watch Monday Night Football right from your couch because the Rams and Ravens will air live on ABC7. Our coverage starts at 4.30 tomorrow with our pregame show, followed by our postgame show. And all you Dancing with the Stars fans, the big finale airs tomorrow at 9 p.m. And here's a quick programming note. Tomorrow's episode of The Good Doctor airs at 1 a.m., so set your DVRs. And that's it for Localish LA here at the LA Auto Show. And remember, it's open until December 1st, and it's even open on Thanksgiving Day, so get here and check it out. Now we're going to go from cars to stars. Up next is on the red carpet at the American Music Awards. Enjoy the show, everyone. Nailed it. Walk down any street in America and take a moment to listen to the locals. We're going to a place that is legendary in Chicago. A taste of Texas on a plate. So let's explore this country with the people who know it best. This is Localish. Don't miss an all new episode of Localish LA on Sunday at 6.30 on ABC7. Or click on the subscribe button and watch Localish LA anytime.